Hello and welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create an assessment quiz using SQB. Now, you can create all types of assessment quizzes, multiple choice, yes, no answers, true, false answers. I'll first show you a demo so you can see how it looks like in the front end. And then I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can set it up. So a quiz in SQB has four key elements, and this applies to all the quizzes. There's the start screen, then the question answer screen, then the lead generation screen, and the outcome screen. Let me give you a quick demo of what a SQB powered assessment quiz looks like in the front end. So when you create a quiz in SQB, it will give you a short code. So here you can see I have inserted the short code right here. You can insert it anywhere you want on a WordPress page. Now let me show you what it looks like in the front end. All right, so you can see here in the front end, the short code has been replaced by the quiz. Now, everything that you see here is fully customizable. This is the quiz title. I'm using a GIF. You can use plain text. You can use just a regular image or you can use video. So that's completely up to you. It's fully customizable. I'm going to click on take this quiz button to take the quiz. So this is the first question screen and there is an image here. You don't have to use an image. You can just use plain text or a video or a GIF. And these are the answer choices. Now here I have configured SQB to display a next button on each question screen. I have done this because this is an assessment quiz. I want users to see the correct answer on each screen and then click on next button to go to the next question. But you don't have to do it this way. If you don't want to display a correct answer on each screen and you don't want to display a next button, you can configure it off in the back end. This way your users don't have to click on the next button to get to the next question. Also, I have configured SQB to display the correct answer on each question screen after they select an answer choice but you don't have to do it this way. You can have SQB display the correct answers and the incorrect answers on the final results screen. And if you want to do it in both places, if you want to display it after each question and also on the final results screen, you can do that as well. You can configure this at quiz level so you can use different configuration for different quizzes. So I'm gonna click on the next button to go to the next question. I'm going to select an incorrect answer here just to show you what it looks like. So this is the incorrect answer message. I have configured this in the back end. I'm going to just go ahead and complete this quiz. And all of this is fully configurable in the back end. So after all the questions, you can display an opt-in form. Now, in my case, I was displaying the correct answer after each question. But instead of that, if you just display it on the final result screen, you can have users opt-in to see the result. You can connect SQB to your email marketing platform. So when users are added here, they will be added to your email platform. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and opt in here. That's it, and you can see here, this is the result. And it says you got four out of five correct. And here I'm using a GIF, you don't have to, you can use a regular image or nothing at all. And uh, you can see here, I have configured SQB to display this on the final screen as well. That's why it's showing all the correct and incorrect answers here. The incorrect answer has a different color than the correct answers. And these colors are customizable in the back end. And there is a share button that will allow your users to share their results on social. And everything that is being shared is also fully customizable in the back end. This image, the title, everything is customizable so they can share the content to Facebook. And when someone clicks on the shared content in Facebook, you can have them be redirected back to your main quiz page. All right, so now let me give you a quick tour of the SQB backend to show you how you can set up an assessment quiz like this in SQB. So you can go to create a quiz page to create a new quiz. Here I have already created the quiz, so I'll just show you my settings. You can give your quiz a name, add a description, select the type of quiz. So this is an assessment quiz, so I have selected the type as assessment. In the second tab, display settings, you can configure some more options or just use the default and you can always update it uh, after you set up your quiz. So in the display settings, you can see it says show the quiz in a pop-up or in page. By default, it will show in page Show progress bar. If you want to display a progress bar at the top, you can turn this on. Pagination options. Here you can configure it to display one question per page or all questions on the same page. Default is one question per page. This is what we recommend so you don't overwhelm your users with too many questions on the same screen. So lead generation screen, this will show up after the participants answer all the questions and before the result is displayed to them. So it's before the result screen and uh, you can turn this on and you can connect your opt-in form to your email platform. So at the time of this recording, SQB integrates with ActiveCampaign, Aweber, MailChimp, ConvertKit, Drip, but we'll be adding a lot more integrations such as GetResponse, MailerLite uh, in a future update. 
All right, SQB also integrates with Digital Access Pass. Now, DAP is my membership plugin for WordPress. So we have added an integration between DAP and Smart Quiz Builder. So you can create a free product in DAP. Now, DAP is a membership plugin for WordPress. And when users opt in, they will be added to your free product in DAP. And then you can deliver your content or uh, follow up emails from DAP. So you can also set up marketing automations using Zapier. All right, so moving on to outcome screen display. This is an assessment quiz. The final result is based on the total number of correct answers. So say that there are five questions. So you want to create five different outcome screens so that you can have five different messages based on the total number of correct answers. You can do that. But if you have 10 questions, 15 questions, then it's too much work to create an outcome screen for each correct answer. So what you can do is you can create an outcome screen for a range. So if there are 20 questions and you want to say if they get anywhere from zero to three correct answers, show them this screen with this message. If they get anywhere from four to eight correct answers, show them this screen. You can do that. You can create different outcome screens for a range of correct answers. Moving on to the correct answer display, you can configure SQB to display correct answers after each question and also on the final results page. But if you want to display it just on the final results page, you can do that or after each question, but not on the final results page, you can do that as well. So you can select the right option based on your specific needs. And then you can select one of these templates and each one is going to look a little bit different. So here I have just selected uh, the default template, which is template number one. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the start screen. All right, so this is the start screen. Everything that you see here is fully customizable. And this text, this is the quiz title, this is the description. So here I'm using a GIF, but if you want to use a video element, you can do that. Or uh, if you want to use just a regular image, you can upload an image. And this text that you see here is fully customizable. Everything is click and edit. You can change the contents. If you do not want to use a start screen, but just want to use this button and have it linked directly to the questions, just click on this and it will allow you to change the template to just a button template. Now let's take a look at the questions. So here I have five questions. You can add any number of questions. So let me show you what each question looks like here. So here's the question. And again, everything is click and edit. I'm using an image. You don't have to, you can hide the image if you don't want to use an image. Or if you want to replace it with a GIF or a video, you can do that as well. And these are the answer choices. You can use different layouts. You can use answers with images or just plain text like I'm doing here. And because this is an assessment quiz, you're going to find a checkbox like this right here. So you need to just check the box next to the correct answer. So this is the correct answer in this case. So I have checked this box. So you just need to do that. If you want to allow users to pick multiple correct answers, just check this box right here. And now you can uh, check the box next to each one of the correct answers. So this is how you can create your question screen. And you can enter your correct answer message here and incorrect answer message here. If users answer it correctly, they will see this message. And if they don't answer it correctly, they will see this message. Now where they see this message depends on your setting in the display settings. So right here, if you say display it after each question, they will see it after they answer each question. But if you want to display it just on the results screen, you can do that too. So this is the default order of the questions. But if you want to rearrange it, you can just click on this and then you can drag and drop it based on the order you want for your questions. But uh, you can also enable branching logic. What this means is if you want to display questions based on the previous answer, you can do that too. So instead of showing the same question, you can configure SQB to display questions based on the previous answer. So first you need to create all the questions, then enable branching, then go to the quiz funnels page to set up the branching logic. All right, so now let's take a look at lead generation. So this opt-in form is going to show up after the questions. So first users are going to see the start screen, they start the quiz, they answer all the questions. Before they see the result, this opt-in form is going to show up and they need to opt in to be able to see the result. So everything that you see here is click and edit. You can change the content. And there is also a field customizer here if you want to allow users to just enter their email you can turn off the name like this. By default, it's turned on. So after they opt in, they are going to be sent to the outcome screen. So this is the results screen, and here they will find their results. And 
you can set up an outcome based on range or based on the total number of correct answers. So you can select how you want to do this in the display setting tab. So right here, you can specify whether you want to use range or correct answer. So range is the default setting. So now going back to the outcome screen, and you can see I have three outcomes here. It's based on the range. There are five questions. My first range says zero to one, second range is two to three. And so when it says zero to one, anyone that gets zero or one, they're gonna see this screen. So if they get two or three, they're gonna see this screen. So it includes the starting number and the ending number in the range. And outcome number three, if they get four or five, they are going to see the screen. So you can create as many outcome screens you want and you can give a different title. The title doesn't really matter. They are not really going to see the title, but uh, this is what they are going to see. This is the screen that's going to show up after they opt in. Again, everything in the outcome screen is also fully customizable. So the percent percent correct answer, uh, percent percent tag, it will be replaced by the total number of correct answers they got. So for example, it will say you got three correct out of five. So you can change the text to say whatever you want. Just use these merge tags if you want to show them their result. And this text is customizable. This is a call to action. If you don't want this, you can remove it. So after they see the outcome, you want them to take a specific action. You can connect this button uh, to whatever page you want. And also you can see there is a redirect rule and outcome tags. In the redirect rule, if you want to send users to a different page rather than an outcome screen, you can do that. You can send them to a specific outcome page and uh, you can add whatever content you want on that page. Similarly, tags. You can assign different tags based on the outcome. So if they get a certain result and you want to give them a certain tag, then you can have SQB assign the tag and SQB will send this tag to your email platform that you uh, connect in the display settings tab. And now moving on to the short code tab. This is the last tab. Here SQB will give you a short code. All you have to do is copy this, paste it wherever you want on your WordPress page. And in the front end, your users are going to see the quiz. Now there are some more settings such as social share. If you want a social share button, Facebook share and Twitter share button to show up on the final outcome screen, you can go to the social share page, select your quiz, and uh, then you can set up all the options here. You can enter the share title, you can enter the image, and you can also enter the share URL. So this is the URL to which the shared content will be linked to. And uh, this is the share section that will show up on the outcome screen. So you can configure it differently for each quiz. And in the settings page, in the customizer tab, you can customize the different buttons. So in the advanced quiz settings tab, you can personalize your quiz. So you can select your quiz and here it says, do you want to ask for first name before the question pops up? I have said yes. And you can customize the content. So this screen will show up when users click on take the quiz button before the question. So you can see here, I have personalized the question using this merge tag. There are also other options here. You can allow users to re-attempt the quiz. You can randomize the questions, answers, SQB also integrates with DAP LMS. DAP is a membership plugin for WordPress. It's our plugin. And uh, the courses that you create using DAP, you can use SQB powered quizzes to create a blocking quiz. That's it for now. You're welcome to join my Facebook group to learn more about Smart Quiz Builder. And it's at smartquizbuilder.com group. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.